Hello guys and welcome to another one. This one is going to be me reviewing the recent feedback that they're giving to our feedback. So basically, they just sent it like four minutes ago and I'm going to read it now. So as a general reminder, we're a studio that listens and adapts. Yes, I've told you guys this many times, like so you guys don't have to be so rough when you're giving them feedback because they will listen so you don't have to like oh my god it's blah 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 if you guys hear me doing that that is just for entertainment value like that's because i'm making a video and if i just make videos like this people aren't going to really watch it to its full extent i have to kind of be outrageous plus i drink i smoke and i do other things a lot so depending on my mood and how drunk i am or how intoxicated overall i am plus my overall passion for the game i'm going to be reacting a bit more strongly than i recommend that you guys react because even if i react a certain way in the video when i go to the discord i just ask them simple questions get my reply and i'm gone i'm not really there to debate with them or to urge them on to do something oh take out this armor out of the game no if i say that on video that's just like that's just my first reaction but obviously i'll need to think about it and then i'll if it means that much to me i'll just word a little sentence or two and give it to them and tell them like hey i think this is like weird or this is not the way that people like it and then i feel like they usually listen to so let us get into it um they said that said we ask that you are patient while we work to address your feedback yes pretty much going back to what i just said asking you guys to be patient too with them because they're very sweet people as i said you should try to support their patreons and stuff because they are a hard-working team and they're genuinely trying their best so they're saying um one of the major complaints they've gotten is that tower keys are too hard to obtain so i have alts and i do the little alt cheese method with the tier 9 bosses so i've found them very easy to obtain I didn't even know you could get them from Daily Rewards. You could get them from Brazier. I know about the rune shops because that's how I got my first five. But I didn't know you could get them from Daily Rewards and, and the Bazaars or whatever that is called. Bazaars. Uh, okay. This is not an English lesson. Okay. I didn't even know you could get them. I find it okay because of the T9 thing. So if you don't know about that method... You should definitely check it out if you are world farming for them oh my god i feel your pain i feel your pain at this point i don't even think it should require luck to get the keys as drops so i need to not only find these freaks but i need to make sure that i remembered to put in max luck bonus too plus have a dozing rod running nope 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 car horns for that car horns for that idea they don't need to require freaking luck okay so the 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 other thing oh my god guys this is my major problem the the time commitment because i'm trying to do it on my main and i'm trying to do it on my baby account so at this point half the dungeons i do start to get them on cooldown i do not complete i've done one and a half towers today it's two o'clock i did one at like 10 i fell asleep for like three hours it was so exhausting after going out to find it and then i'm like stuck in the middle of the one on my baby account because it's just oh my god it's just so much but they say they are going to allow us to move quicker that's what i was thinking about so i was thinking about doing it in like a way of dungeons where you have to face every mob in it as the exchange so i guess it would still be long as hell because sometimes some floors have a few mobs and sometimes if i'm just doing my little baby 10 
floor towers that I constructed, I just do those for the drops. So I just go to one floor guardian on each floor and that's like 1,000, 1,500 at best shards anyway. So those, I just run through those. So if they had like a, a floor guardian mode only, that you just go on the floor guardians until you reach X floor, then you can decide to do the rest of the tower yourself. That would be so good because the early floors, the amount of shards they give, I just skip them completely. I just do the tower guardian, tower guardian, tower guardian. And I just go from there because it just makes no sense. By the time I reach floor 20 or 25, I'm getting like 150 to 200 shards. While when I was, and that is for the guardian, while I'm doing first floor like five guardians getting like 60 shards for from like four or five guardians so it just doesn't work out when i'm trying to use my time wisely too not being stuck in them for so long and actually having the will to finish them another thing so i'm not sure if if when i because i did want to like floor 18 yesterday and i forgot to complete it so i'm not sure if they just ate my fucking shards bro like where are my shards at i i i i don't know how much shards i have so even if i checked i wouldn't know but it's crazy to think that i didn't get any of those shards because i didn't remember to exit like i hope that wasn't the case please guys please give me my shards i want my shards <laughs> i want my shards but yeah that was one of my problems um too many empty rooms so i spoke about this in a video guys it's actually not empty rooms it's just empty for us but other persons who are doing it wherever they are they might be seeing something in that room that we see as an empty room so that one i don't think that should be changed that is that is that dungeon runs and crash recovery so guys the same thing about the time consuming i have not done a dungeon run in a minute bro like i'm so exhausted so burnt sometimes after doing two towers like i see people with the new weapons and i am amazed okay i am amazed i see people with multiple new weapons and i'm just like huh oh, this, this motherfucker is committed i'm impressed everyone who has the new weapons has them filled out with whatever i'm still here i have thirty thousand shards and i'm not talking about sky shards i have thirty thousand the, the the normal shards meaning i need twenty thousand more to build the five thousand sh sky shard weapon itself the level one weapon then i have to upgrade that to level 20 bro there's so much but I haven't been playing as much just because it's just... Uh, what I love about it though is I will do a few floors now, then I'll put it down and I'll do a few more floors. So I love that you can come back to it. But my anxiety comes from the, the dungeon runs. And this is another reason I haven't been doing dungeons. So I wasn't sure if doing dungeons would make it so that I, I lost the continue button. So I, I've been a bit nervous about doing dungeons when I have the far away tower on on continue. But I have two, I have my own two baby towers, as well as I have a pretty close like 1200 view distance, which I just, I just use my max VD to try to get. So when I have those only, I think I'm now going to try to do some dungeons. Granted, it's Friday now, so they're about to be reset anyway but and then i'm gonna do some tower experiments like like just different things how things work in the tower because as i said the the 10 floor towers they give no shards i pretty much have all of the adornments i want from one of them granted not in any quality yet but that's fine so i'll use one or two of my towers on each account to test how the tower reacts to me going into dungeons stuff like that where other people wouldn't want to ruin their runs i'm okay with ruining the runs because 
sometimes i just go through them very quickly just to get the adornments so i have like five minute tour runs through the 10 floors i just do all of the bosses without exploring or anything just to get the the arms and the shoulders and all of those things so uh the whole crash thing i have nothing to say about it because I haven't seen it myself. I haven't been in a dungeon in ages. And I, I don't crash in dungeons on my phone. So I'm not sure about that. I knew people were crashing in world raids and in kingdom raids. So if that could be addressed, that would be awesome. If it has already been addressed, that is awesome. X is overpowered. We are prepping for a balance patch soon. Uh, so what are they saying is overpowered now? Oh, oh my God, bro! There's another thing I I don't like about some members of this community because you have to stick to your own class, and some people are not that good at the game in general. So when they aren't good at the game, they can't do anything with the class they use. When the class they use is unable to do things in their hand they see people who are actually good at the game doing stuff and they get mad at them and be like oh my class is underpowered blah 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 all the while they could just be experimenting on their class and testing the limits of their class no other classes are going to get balanced because this group of weirdos don't know how to utilize their class properly and then this brings on the ascension problem, which I think is probably the biggest problem in the game, which I would love to see addressed. The ascension problem, oh my god, even I've stopped doing ascensions now, it's just too much. No, especially when you have towers and stuff, so I need to be material farming, orn farming, building my towers, so more orn farming barely getting any material from doing the towers i see that the floor is at the end of each floor you get some material awesome great let's get some more if we're doing towers we can't be material farming and if we're not material farming we can't we can't ascend so what is it do you guys want us to do the towers or do you want us to focus on ascending towers give no orange either like towers give like 200 400 500k orange tops that's not enough like i'm not saying i want towers to give everything so listen closely i'm saying that stuff like material material because at some point towers will no longer be for the weapons or for the classes because everyone would have finally farmed enough to get all of the classes and all of the weapons so at that point what will towers be good for i i propose it be good for material farming we can leave orn farming in endless fine but not everybody loves the alt play and the refinery play of material farming honestly i would abolish refineries if i could bro it's the worst it's the worst one of the number one things in making people quit like the ascension grind obviously and the need for refineries in that grind it's so much guys and if i continue this was actually supposed to be a three minute video but passion for the game even though i'm playing a lot less lately and i'm not really that interested in stuff there is just a core love for the game because it's a really nice game i like the team and i really enjoyed it when i really enjoyed it i do enjoy it still but obviously some of the the fire in my heart and in my eyes has withered so maybe if certain things are changed i'll be back on my a game and i'll be back wanting to test stuff wanting to do stuff like even the damage limit bro and then items and stuff to to remove the damage limit bro come on you're putting the damage limit in rng hands now you're putting the, the damage limit in rng's hands now bro be real like 
Why is there a damage limit in a game that people are trying to... <laughs> I'm gonna stop the rant here because I might actually start ranting. Like, but bro... It's just so much that makes me not feel that passion that I used to have. But I'm gonna keep playing because I realize that even Towers made me realize that a lot of people really depend on my help and my insight i just did my first baby tier 10 tower video as a troll because i had no intention of doing it on that account all of a sudden now i'm looking into how to do it on realm i'm gonna do it on deity i want to do it on bayo but bayo seems tough i don't know i just don't like bayo like that it, it, Thinking about it, it's like, mm, do I want to do that? And the answer is a resounding no every single time. It gets like five car horns. Like, it is awful. But I'm not saying the class is awful. And I saw that they have a new class that is like super good hybrid. I know that class will excel at it. I think it's Bayo Hydros, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. But um, if there is desire to see it, I will definitely do it as is like about 15 persons have asked me to do it for realm so I do have a realm build and I do have the will to do it as realm it's just the will to play the game itself sometimes because it's just so time consuming for like what I feel is like minimal rewards like god damn like I have to be scouring every tower floor to make it so that I feel like okay I've gotten 15,000 shards I feel satisfied and then by the time you've done that you realize that an hour an hour and a half has passed and you're like wow so and I like gaming as much as the next guy I dedicate time to games like I have maxed accounts in multiple games like I have a maxed pure account in old school runescape if you know what that means, you know how impressive that is. A one defense maxed every stat. I don't mean combat stats. So I dedicate time to the grind. But this grind, I think it's just ascension. Seeing people almost 200 ascensions, bro. I'm just like, wow. Like, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to continue ascending. I, I'm supposed to get to 200 ascensions too. Which I'm obviously not going to, but at what point do they even stop? Even the persons ascending, I know they aren't, they cannot be happy ascending even still. I know that's why Untold, the previous number one, stopped because it was just too much. Like, because he had a lot of free time too, he had his life sorted, he had his, his stuff together, so he could dedicate time to the game, like some others of us. But the repetition bro like the repetition of it all even when i saw him get burnt i was like wow that's why i stopped after he after he quit like you can ask anyone i've been in the 60s i was 62 or 63 ascension for like four months i got my last two like a month ago i'm actually orn blocked right now that's how like i'm fucking let me double check i'm positive that i'm orn blocked from ascensions right now and you know that that is like cheese like i can get that orn in in no time yeah orns i'm just not interested in ascending anymore i'm gonna use my orns to build my fucking towers that's what my orns are for now and i heard it's like 800 million orns per tower so you know that 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 is going to be quite the grind but i think i've ranted enough it was not supposed to be a rant video guys i promise i promise but you know when passion meets time has this person fought me yet? No? That's sad. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what to say though. Like, I'm glad I got that off my chest though. It's some stuff I've been meaning to talk about. And I feel like that was good and calm enough for, for no one to be too shocked or saddened. Because 
apparently when I when I quote and quote unquote bash the game, some of the devs feel some type of way. And I like them as I said. I don't want them to feel any type of way when I'm saying stuff. It's gaming like that's how gamers talk. That's how gamers say gaming stuff. Like you guys can't compare me to Shabash and the other like creators because those guys they're nice they're nice in real life i'm more of um, an aggressive person let's put it that way so even simple speech is a bit more aggressive coming from me not because i want to be aggressive but that's just that's just how i speak like I try my best to be as nice, as friendly, as whatever, whatever, all of those nice stuff as possible. But when I'm just being myself, because I'm like a nice person for my videos. When I'm just being myself, like talking to somebody, like I'm going to slip back into how I am. Like I'm one of those demanding persons in real life. I don't do much for myself. So people are always doing stuff for me. So when it comes to honor that I'm doing stuff for people... I like it in a way because I do a lot for people in real life, but that is more financial. And that would be me getting somebody to do it then for them. But when it comes to honor and all of the the requests and the demands and the like people, it's either people are asking me questions or they're asking me for something, asking me to be carried, asking me for world raid bosses. And guys, I promise I would love to be the kindest person in the world i would love to share with everyone i would because i do share but sometimes it gets a little bit annoying so sometimes it's like do i even want to open my dms so sometimes i just leave my dms unread like or i just um the message requests i just ignore them and then after that i think they don't send them anymore so that's why i say if you have messaged me in on discord and i haven't replied just message me in the server i always reply in the server because it's just so much easier than having some type of one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody that i don't really know and then you know it's it's just a lot easier it's just a lot easier anyway guys i keep saying that this is the end of the video and this is the actual end of the video because i'm about to just shut this shit off right now but like this is just a few things that i've been meaning to address overall so yeah a special shout out to my patrons like they don't even understand how important they are to me continuing this journey at first i never wanted it to be anything financial but the amount of time Orna takes away from me, if I wasn't a more responsible person than most people, my life would be ruined. I've flaked on obligations, I've 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 cancelled dates, I've cancelled I've Rush, we're ending the video, brother. We're ending the video. Anyway, special shout out to my patrons. You have the Lux, that is like my most loyal public patron, like he has been my longest loyal public patron. He was actually my first. And he's still here. He's my first patron. It's, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. But you were a real one, Deluxe. You were a real one. And you have persons like Orban and Bear. He was my second patron. And Orban, I love you so much, man. Thank you so much. Eren has been a kingdom mate. A supporter of the server he's been boosting the server he's the first server booster Eren my brother my brother I love you so much thank you guys Makana is one of the heretics from Orna Legends who followed me over into my server and he's like my number one commenter if Makana was not commenting on my videos guys I would have given up a long time ago his comments keep me going plus he's a patron thank you so much daichi is another one who is always commenting thank you so much daichi thank you bro thank you so much yeti bound oh my god yeti is actually one of the first friends i made in orna so 
before I knew anyone else, yet he was like, yet he's been playing for ages. Like, so when I was a noob, I remember when I was just T10, I think Yeti was T9 at the time. And I used to carry Yeti in the Orna Legends server. We just used to do dungeons. And I was like one of the only carries back then in the Orna Legends server, especially. So I used to do majority of the carries. So people would just come by and run with me. And Yeti was always there, always learning very quick with whatever I told him. If I told him like, um, you need to ward and then defend he would do that whereas sometimes you tell other persons and they just be doing a, a bunch of other stuff so big shout out to yeti too uh i think that's all of my public patrons if i missed anybody just know i love you regardless guys um shout out to my private patrons one of these days i'm gonna out you guys like you guys are so good too um any tier anywhere shout out to you guys my subscribers you're another set of people that keep me going this sounds like a last will and testament huh like just overly emotional right now no you guys don't even understand this orna journey itself it has been a really eye-opening one i've always been a gamer but i've never been a part of a gaming community like i am with orna this is the first time i've ever been so entrenched in a gaming community and i never knew it would be so wholesome as toxic as it gets as toxic as it gets it is really wholesome i really love the orna community and the orna community itself is one of the main reasons that i haven't quit yet because sometimes when i think about quitting i'm just like oh well i know that like the server would pretty much just shut down because if I'm not actively doing stuff in there, sometimes it's kind of quiet. So it's like, oh, do I want to leave them? And like, I know there are other party servers, but one is filled with thieves like that kites kid. So I can't leave you guys in the hands of that thief because he's just going to steal your world raid bosses. And the other, I think murder doesn't play much anymore. I haven't heard from him in a while, but that was a great server too. But he ended up quitting, I think, because I haven't seen him in a while. And I think I still have him added. But yeah, sometimes I just think about this whole Orna journey. This July 22nd will be two years since I started playing Orna. So, yeah, I guess this is like the weirdest video you guys have ever listened to anyone who is still here leave a comment on your favorite part of this video whatever i talked about and you can win 10 summoning scrolls so uh the first five people can do that after that three of the next five people will also win so eight persons will win 10 summoning scrolls each anyway yeah see you guys only the persons who lasted this long should be winning summoning scrolls anyway so yeah see ya